at the foothills of the Nilgiris mountain range in the western Ghats of South India, the change of seasons occurs like the stage sets in a theatre. Yet flora and fauna read the changes way before, and it's easy to know what's coming, just by observing nature. The green bamboos, shrubs, and grass dry up, and trees shed their leaves, to prepare for the summer. The lush green valley turns brown, and animals depend on water holes, to quench their thirst. The peafowl in the valley becomes more active and easily noticeable, with their brilliant feathers, in the brown surroundings. You can hear the constant melancholic toned call of peacocks, from dawn to midnight. Being natives of the forests since time immemorial, they often rove in the neighboring human settlements, and even in the busy streets of the nearby townships. Peacock feathers are in high demand in Kerala and Tamil Nadu, the southern states bordered by the mountains, as they are used to make ornamental decoratives for religious festivals. Peacock is the national bird of India. In Hinduism, Lord Krishna adorns a peacock feather on his forehead, that an image of Krishna without a peacock feather is considered incomplete. The first appearance of peacock in the Bible, occurs in assessing the wealth and eminence of King Solomon, in the 9th century BC. It mentions that King Solomon received a cargo from Ophir, every three years, probably the present-day Puvar, or Baypur in Kerala. The precious cargo consisted of gold, silver, sandalwood, pearls, ivory, apes, and peacocks. In Hebrew, the peacock is called Tuki, or Tukiem, derived from the Tamil word Tokai for peacock. Proud as a peacock. Yes, they deserve to be proud of those beautiful feathers, actually meant to charm the female of their species. Proudly they use their beautiful feathers for courtship display, unaware of its use as a decorative ornament by man. Being peak summer, I waited to observe the peacock dance, immediately before the first rain. The pride arrived at the usual pecking spot on the cloudy windy evening, led by the proud Raja. He appeared desperate for a courtship, but he started his courtship display, the moment the muster reached the clearing. Though the performance is rather impressive, the harem seems keener on pecking, that they did not care to notice his display. In the jungles, though peacocks are territorial by nature, they are usually shy and take cover in human presence. But not, always. I say with conviction, as I was once attacked by a peacock in the wild, when I encroached his territory. Law has it that peacocks dance before the first rain, while foxes howl to announce the arrival of rain. The peacock's tail did not evolve for natural survival, and seemed to decrease their chances of survival, that in 1859, Charles Darwin wrote, the sight of a feather in a peacock's tail, makes me sick. Studies suggest that peahens prefer peacocks, which display more eye spots in their trains. Peacocks rattle, or shake their feathers about 25 times per second, creating a rattling sound, along with an iridescent visual display. Spotted deer, jungle miners, spotted doves, oriental magpie robins, jungle fowl, treepies common miners, starlings, and a couple of mongooses, joined the feast with the peahens. At the same time, the performer decided to skip his dinner, Kino with his determined gig. 
the mongooses are cautious in their approach. They move around patiently, waiting to sneak in when possible. The peahens take over the work of chasing away the intruders, as they realized it's meaningless, to expect help from their glitzy honcho. Dark clouds loom as the wind gets stronger. His dance continues till a crow plays spoil sport. As Panic totters his outspread fan, he decides to stop the show, which lasted for more than two hours. Birds get busy, preparing for their roost. As it gets darker, a sloth bear is out from its hiding, searching for ants and termites. The ever alert spotted deer keep grazing, in the dark. Soon, thick mist roll in, and the cicadas, bush crickets and nightjars get lively, rather loudly. Tribal shepherds mentioned a tiger's presence in the surroundings, in the last couple of days. The carcass of a kill, a cow, is testimony to the royal arrival. The deer probably sensed its presence, as the panicked alarm calls, spread, and get louder and louder. For reasons unknown, the peacock call to is heard in the mayhem. The intermittent calls continued all night long, and the first rain in summer arrived the next day. The peacock party subsequently vanished from the place. <laughs>